Hey guys, Jamin here with Kingdom Camping. Hey, I'm out here in front of the Caravan XL, our prototype tandem axle unit, and I'm so excited to show you guys. Now, as we start here on the door side, you can see we went with the nice dark gray Aztec gray. This is a gel coat, very high quality fiberglass, which has a high gloss UV finish. Along the bottom, we have 24 inches of diamond plate rock guard. We have acrylic dual pane windows, an LED floodlight, 110 outlet, and up top, the carefree latitude awning. The tires are Maxxis 33 inch all-terrain tires and the Moorride Step. In the corner we got Arc 33 inch corner steadies and these are super strong and they actually are strong enough to lift up the entire unit and to change a tire or something like that. You just pull on it and those drop down into place and can be adjusted right here. On the back you can see our LED lights. We've got a rear floodlight up top and your license plate down here, your holder with the light and we've got some recovery hooks in case you get in any trouble. Now as you can see under here we've got skid plates covering the entire bottom of the unit and these are actually insulated and heated so this unit works in cold weather, no freezing of your water tanks. Alright, to the off door side. You can see the ladder that goes to the roof. I'll show you what's up there in a little bit. The dual pane acrylic windows all the way around. We've got the LED floodlight up top. We've got a nice fabricated fender that protects the body from chips and the Truma furnace outlet. All right guys, under here you can see that Caravan XL has the ATX suspension from Cruise Master. This does have the air controls. Allows you to adjust your ride height to about six to eight inches. It's great for off-road driving. Now, here we have another outlet for 120 volt. Anything you want to run outside the unit. In this baggage door, we have our inlet for water fill. With the Nautilus, you can power fill, dry camp, siphon in water, and city fill. There's also an outside shower hose. It comes in handy to clean your feet. Also, we have the controls here for the Cruise Master air suspension. You're able to see the PSI here in your tires and move them up and down for right heights. Now, this door has a good seal both inside and outside. It's thick and insulated and has this tension lock that seals the door from cold air and water. Down here on the bottom, we've got a port. That's for running a Starlink uh, Wi-Fi cable inside to your router. And our baggage door here on the end features all of our electrical inside of the unit. We've got Victron components. We've got our Hydrostar disc brake hydraulic. And this baggage door has cables that can be removed and it can be dropped down if you don't want it to be using as a workbench. Here you have your 50 amp shore charger. What this does is it charges the batteries and it also runs your, your 120 volt appliances uh, outlets while it's connected um, to the grid. Now when you unplug it, it automatically just runs off of the batteries again. All right, here in the front toolbox, we do have two 20 pound LP tanks and those are on a tray that can slide out if you have to remove them. Up front we do have the spare tire, our 4,000 pound jack and this unit we have a McHitch on the front. We can also use the DO45 from Cruise Master with a handbrake if wanted. All right let me take you to the roof and show you what's up there. All right so we're up here on the roof and there is 1920 watts of solar panels up here that are recharging the unit and also we have the Dometic RTX 2000 unit 12 volt air conditioner 
that uh, cooled the unit. Now as we get back here to the entry door, one neat feature that I want to mention is that there's one key for every single door in this entire camper, whether it's the baggage door, the entry door, your toolbox door, uh, they all open with the same key, which is very nice. As we go to open this door, we've got a latch on the back. This is a heavy duty latch that holds it into place, keeps it from banging back and forth, allows you to open that window. Now this door also does feature a screen door. So during hot summer months, you can have just a screen door open and the door all the way open. This unit also has more rides, solid step that folds up like this inside the door. Mm -hmm. So while you're traveling, it's safely stored away. And when you're ready to go, just pull the lever and it drops down in the place. It has little adjustable legs on the bottom in case you do adjust your air ride so it's the right height. All right, guys, we're inside the Caravan XL, our prototype tandem axle unit here at Kingdom Camping, and I'm gonna show you guys the inside. So starting up front, you have a large queen-sized bed. There is shirt closets on each side. There's drawers for some extra goodies on each side. And of course, you have a lot of overhead storage for clothes up top. Now you'll notice the windows on the side those do have our blinds or screens or neither one you choose so. And these windows of course open in an outward position as so. Now guys I want to show you what's hiding under the bed here. As I lift it up you'll see we have all our lithium batteries down here. There's three 360 amp hour batteries, and I believe that comes up to 1,080 amp hours of lithium batteries powering this unit. Now, off the off door side of the unit, we have our kitchen area, which features solid surface countertops, stainless steel sink and fixtures, and of course, lots of cabinetry, and in the end, our Dometic 12 volt air, uh, refrigerator with lots of storage, cold on the bottom, freezer on the top. Now here under the kitchen overhead cabinets, we do have some lice lighting that lights up the counter. And this has a dimmer switch and an on and off switch. Back to the door side, you notice cabinetry up top. You got your entry door, and we got our monitor panel here with all our fixtures, our lights, um, got your awning controls, and I'll go over that here in a second. You got your Victron screen monitoring all your electronics. You can check your fresh tank level, and you also have controls for your Trumi, Truma Combi Comfort Plus unit that can heat both the unit and the hot water in this camper. Now we'll get back to the awning. It does have an on off switch and that does turn on some LED lighting underneath. Can't see it too well in the daylight but it does glow very nicely in the nighttime. And you can extend it. it has an automatic extension where it goes out on its own. And when you're ready to retract, you can hit retract and it'll come in on its own. Now I will mention this latitude awning from Carefree of Colorado does have a sensor in it where if it gets too windy it automatically pulls it back in and that's very nice. Now off on the door side here we've got what we call our office slash um, bar table area so it both serves as an office for a working person and a, like a breakfast bar uh, in the morning so it's got this folding bar that you can just pull up like that and it's a good place to sit down and eat breakfast it's also a great place to have your office chair um, you've got lots of cabinet storage all the way around and uh, you got outlets here on the side and up top so that's a great place to be working 
great place to eat breakfast. It's a very universal uh, little corner there, the cabinet the camper that you can do a lot of different things with. Now, here on the door side, we can also do double bunks or an L-shaped dinette. Now, I want to point out a very important feature of this camper. It's the Dometic RTX 2000 12-volt air conditioner. And what this does is it cools the unit off of 12 volts, so it's a very low draw. And it keeps that battery fully charged with all those solar panels up top. Um, and it's a very efficient air conditioner off the grid. We have a nice sliding barn door here going into the rear bathroom that can be locked in open or closed position and shuts off the bathroom from the main area. Now, jumping into the bathroom, we've got off to the left, we have our separate tiny toilet. We have a large floor to ceiling linen. We've got a bunch of towel racks off to the left. You have your outlet that you push down into the countertop. You've got drawers on the side, storage under the sink. This sink is a nice fused into the solid surface countertop, stainless steel appliances, and of course the medicine cabinet up top. Off to the right there's a large storage area for all your camping supplies and most importantly you got your big 48 inch fiberglass shower features stainless steel appliances. It's got a nice little seat here where you can sit down. And guys, as you can see, it's a very nice roomy shower here uh, for a camper this size. I'll go back to the Truma Comfort Plus unit and show you this guy. He's stored under the refrigerator here. And yeah, there's easy access there if you have to do anything with the electronics. Guys, now you notice we're using a HTPE cabinetry. This is a wood grain um, cabinetry that's not made of any wood products. It's not made of MDF. It cannot rot, it cannot mold, it cannot mildew. So it's a very high quality cabinetry that you don't find in RVs. And this has a wood grain look, so it's a very natural look. And it's a very high quality cabinet. Guys, if you like this content, make sure to like and subscribe and share. That really does help us. Feel free to contact us. We still have a few build spots remaining the rest of this year. And thank you, as always, for following along. I'm Jamin with Kingdom Camping. And for now, I'm out.